Alrighty, there's sound here. Let's watch this. Have you ever had a Krispy Kreme? Have you ever gone to Krispy yeah. Kreme? Was it crispy? No. Yeah, right. Right. Okay, okay. So there are a few things. I think there's some good stuff, especially when he gets... This is really closed in. He got the shoulders up. Like he, he just he really feels awkward and, and nervous. And, you know, he deflates even more. Like beginning to where he starts and where he ends. I think that's pretty cool. You're asking in terms of line of action, stuff like that. I think it's fine. I would probably take those lamps out and either have a lamp here and lamp here. Just because it's just, it kind of obstructs the silhouette here. And then even through there, um, I just keep it clean. No lamps. <laughs> or just put the lamps here. And I mean... If they're gray and this is so dark here, that could be an interesting little silhouette in there. This is extremely picky and don't worry about it, but that sleeve is right there with that line. So to me, that's a bit of a tangent. <laughs> that just drives me nuts. But I would not worry about this. The main thing... So for me, is when you have two characters, it's always important to know where to look. And for the most part, it's okay. And at, at the end, there's something I just want you to be conscious of. Not that it's a shock killer, but you just have to know what where the importance is. So basically, he starts moving. I'm going to look here, right? If nothing's going on, there's no audio yet. We're taking in everything. There's nothing crazy happening at the very beginning of the shot, which means that I get to look here, here, everywhere to understand where we are. So that's okay. Have you ever had a crispy? And I like that he leans in, right? He starts there when he wants to talk and he's... He's kind of not sure what to do. Goes, okay, let's do this and try to get closer. I like that a lot. And it's very clear that we're supposed to look here. Krispy Kreme. Have you ever gone to Krispy yeah. Kreme? And here's the first thing. So I'm really looking at him because she doesn't do anything, right? And I think that's okay because he is talking and he moves a lot. So my eyes always going to be on here. So it's okay that she doesn't do much, if anything. I had a Krispy Kreme. But then, because she kind of interrupts him or just talks over him, I'm still looking at this and I'm slightly, I'm missing this. So I'm here and suddenly I, I, I went, oh, okay, well, wait, she said something, she's moving. Was it and then we're right back at this. Crispy? No. So my first thought would be, could it be? Have you ever had a Krispy Kreme? He says all this. Goes back, but maybe not as much. Have you ever gone to Krispy Kreme? Yeah. And he says all of this, actually. So imagine he's like this. Says the first line. Goes back maybe this far. To mumble the rest of his line. And then he goes back to this. And says the line while holding. He wants to see if she is reacting and looking at him. So imagine. Can I? Hold on. Okay. So I was, <laughs> <laughs> took a screenshot so hold on so i imagine it's going to be a bit messy but i want you to think in terms of guys holding this pose while she says this right so I had a crispy cream have you ever gone to crispy yeah. cream was it crispy there you go no so why am i saying this is that he holds this pose <laughs> while she does this and then i would propose this change that she doesn't actually look over. She says that line. Have you ever gone to Krispy Kreme? Yeah. Which I think sounds, yeah, I can't remember what the line was. It sounds kind of like she says, yeah. But she just kind of says it, yeah, while still looking at this. So she's not engaging him. And then he realizes, oh, she's not really paying attention to me. And that's why he goes back into what you have here. And then you can keep all of this. Then. Krispy yeah. Kreme. Was it crispy? No. Yeah. Right? So you to me I would stay within this. Was it crispy? And then she goes it crispy? No. No. And then he goes yeah. right. Right. More and more defeated. So not only did she not look at him when he was hoping she would, but then she doesn't really engage a conversation, she just kind of stops it with no. And that's why he goes into his little shell. That to me would be cleaner and it would give us as an audience, he says all this, says all this. And by holding this pose, you're guiding the audience to her to wait for her reaction because he's not going to 
I would hold this and he was he was kind of he would just kind of say stuff, right? But not do big movements so that we can really go over there and wait for her so that we're ready for this. Now, you could also say that she could do this, look at him and then look back and then he could realize, "Oh, she's really not interested in me." And and then continue with this. So, I don't want to dictate too much about the shot. You you have options there. The second thing that I'm not super sure about is that once she does this was it big move here no she does that he does that right. and now they're conflicting i'm supposed to look at him going back into his shell and suddenly this is really important suddenly where she's concentrating on this and smiling is that smiling because she figured something out here is she kind of kind of smiling at what he's saying maybe she finds that amusing so I don't know, like that to me is the, the bigger conflict there. So what I would potentially suggest is what if, so she is very straight on, right? Except here, and then back to straight on, which is, it just feels very flat. So here's my suggestion. First, don't do this. <laughs> you can, you absolutely can. Again, I don't want to dictate things. The way I would approach this would be that she is kind of in his pose where she might be leaning on the shoulder but the body and chest like you know the chest area we see here is is turned over so it's facing him and it's she's more three quarters so when she does her thing it's a bit more i don't have a pose in that three quarter mm, not really it's kind of in between you know here and here and maybe that laptop too is a bit angled like this and because it looks like she is somewhat open to him this is why it feels like, okay, 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 okay. She's not, you know, looking this way. I don't have to go even further and, and try to get her attention. She's somewhat open to me. I can now initiate a conversation. Then when she goes... Have you ever gone to Krispy Kreme? Yeah. When she says that, the laptop stays, but she gets a bit more into a straighter position. Kind of, yeah, don't really want to talk to you. Yeah, right. And then at the end, no. when she goes, no, she would either get into this, which would still be a bit flat, or actually maybe move even her laptop to a straighter position like this, and then assume a position that's now away from him. So it's really clear that I'm not interested in you. My body language says I'm going to look this way. And that's why he goes, okay, okay, okay. If that makes sense. And then that way, she has... It's not just that flat pose, but it's also a bit more of an interplay between the two. And in terms of body language, you know, he he just sees certain signals. It's open. I'm going to go and talk to her. And she's gradually going from open to this to flat to going this way so that she disengages that. That's kind of what I would do. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's my thought. I know these are always potentially disruptive, uh, disruptive notes in terms of changes and things, but... Let me know what you think there. In terms of animation, I would just be careful. There are a lot of a lot of keys. There are a lot of little poppy bits and and post change that if you would spline this, it would it'd be really messy to clean up. So I mean it helps towards the end, giving this a really kind of like, like a tense feel. Um just from a workflow point of view, be careful that if you would spline this now, it would be it would be really messy. And you might have to go back and kind of simplify some of those keys. But I do like the idea of the business. And I like that he holds on to this. This is almost like his lifeline. He doesn't want to just stand and be open to her. It's like, I'm holding on to this. I need something to ground myself to get back to as an escape and all that stuff. So I do I do like that. So if you do already have that prop, then I would have something like this. Also to get away from that flatness. Like the laptop is flat. She's flat. So maybe play with that body language, like I said before. Okay? That's kind of that. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.